Hi, I'm Jason Weyer from the ATCO Academy. Behind me is a Massey Ferguson Heston Series 2745 Auto Tie Silage Baler. The 2700 series are high capacity round balers, so if you're baling anywhere between 2500 and 25,000 bales a year, these machines are going to have the capacity and the reliability to get you through your season. We'll start off right here looking at your wind guard. This is a, a pivoting wind guard and it's fully adjustable depending on your windrow height. All auto tie and auto cycle round balers feature a low profile pickup. You're going to have a lot less leaf loss. And the less leaf loss you have in your bale, the higher protein content your bales are going to have. Behind our low profile pickup, we have a stuffer that leads right into our, our baling belts. Now these belts take the hay up right into our starting roll chamber. Unlike competitive models, which have a system of rollers, which tend to limit productivity as hay is coming into the bale chamber, this, the crop just moves in a fluid motion right into the belts and up into your bale chamber. Inside here we can see a number of things. One industry exclusive that all Hessen series balers have are a both belt tension and bale tension. So as this machine is running and you're kicking bale, you're lifting your tailgate up and down, you have a belt tension that remains on them all the time. And down here you have separate hydraulic tension that puts tension just directly on your bales. Right here, this is your adjustment valve for your bale tension. Balers are set from the factory at 2,000 PSI. This is your belt tension. This is non-adjustable. It's only used for release, so at the end of uh, your day or at the end of the season, you just turn this valve counterclockwise and your belt tension is released. Another Hessen Series exclusive is right here. This is your baler clutch. Now every time you open your tailgate, this clutch is going to disengage your belts. That means you have less, light, less chance of the belts getting off track as you're operating the baler. This clutch also serves as a kick out just in case there's an air with the baler. This clutch will automatically disengage to help prevent damage to the baler. Right here you'll notice that our pickup has a clutch on it. This is a roll pin type of clutch. So anytime you get a big wad of hay or a stick or a foreign object, this clutch is going to be what protects your drive line. For the back, we have a very important safety me mechanism. This right here is your tailgate lockout. You pull this out to lock it, push it in uh, to allow the system to cycle. Next off, we have a, a bale kicker right here. When you're operating your baler, your tailgate's going to come up, your kicker is going to come out, move the bale out, and then come back home. If for some reason the bale, the bale kicker hits an obstruction, this breakaway bar here is going to cause that to pop up and then when it comes back home it's going to reset itself. So there's no uh, shear pins here or anything here that's going to break. It's going to simply reset itself and you're going to be good to go without having to leave the tractor cab. Down below this is your pickup adjustments. Right here this is your pickup spring. This is what's going to adjust your flotation. So simply loosen up your jam nut, adjust your spring tension, and then tighten it back up again. Behind that, we have your pickup height. So on your hydraulic pickup, what you would do is you would raise that up, set the appropriate height, and then latch that back. Inside this will give you a better view of the, the open throat pickup or the open throat um, bale design. You can just see how much clearance we have here. All this clearance leads to higher capacity baling because we don't have, any, once again, we don't have any rollers or anything back here. So when the crop comes in, it's going to hit that stuffer, go right into your belts, and then go right into your starting chamber right here. Right here, this is your starting chamber um, or your starter roll. It's equ equipped with uh, roll bars on it to uh, aggressively grab that crop. If you're having problems uh, gathering crop, you can also add a starting roll flaps onto here. And those flaps are standard on the auto cycle balers. A popular option on all our auto tie and auto cycle balers is mesh wrap. Simply lift up your mesh shield and you have access to your mesh wrap system. 
Our mesh wrap feeds a lot differently than the competition in the fact that we don't use powered rolls. What we use is a mechanism that actually takes the, the, the mesh and feeds it closer to these belts. And these belts are what picks up the mesh and feeds it into your bale chamber. Our mesh wrap systems are designed to run talc free. So that means on a hot, humid day, you don't have to be back here every couple hours with a bottle of talc powder just to get your mesh system to run properly. Once you add up all those features, you can see that the 2700 series Massey Ferguson balers are a right fit for any size operation.